The Floating City of Maldives Many of us dream of going to the Maldives, which is known to be one of the best places to go for your holiday. We also know that rich and renowned people worldwide love to vacation in the Maldives. This is because the Maldives enjoy mild weather throughout the year, with warm water in the ocean at all times. There are fantastic beaches there that will delight even the pickiest travelers. There are resorts where you may spend your holidays in a quiet setting in a detached villa with a private beach, which may be quite significant for certain individuals. Celebrities may feel shielded from the scrutiny of the media and random strangers. However, alongside all these beautiful features that many people spend their life savings to experience once, the Maldives is adding another feature to its catalogue – the Floating City. Welcome back to the channel, Build to Innovate. In today's video, we will discuss the Maldives project of the Floating City, what it entails, the results of the city, and how it will affect both the people of the Maldives and the tourists that just want a peaceful and blissful vacation. The Maldives comprises of 1,192 coral islands, connected by a double chain of 26 atolls. The islands are situated in the Indian Ocean, roughly 500 kilometers southwest of the island of India, with the city of Malay being the capital. Typically, the island is home to just tourists and hotel personnel. Tourists may be provided with a cozy hotel room or a bungalow with a private beach as lodging options. Boats and seaplanes are used to get around the islands. However, as beautiful and nice as the Maldives are, the topography will not last for long as the water is gradually rising and will soon take over the land. 80% of the Maldives are below 1 meter 3 feet, above sea level. This has caused the Maldives government to embark on the Floating City project, with hopes of giving up to 20,000 locals and tourists a chance to relocate, because it is expected that the islands will become uninhabitable by 2100, owing to increasing sea levels. The Maldives has traditionally been the idyllic tropical escape, and this was especially true during the pandemic. 1.3 million travelers arrived in 2021, virtually back to pre-pandemic levels, compared to 1.7 million travelers in 2019. And now that the sea levels are rising, the country with the lowest elevation in the world might finally have a steady answer. It has just been given the go-ahead to build the Maldives floating city, consisting of 5,000 homes connected to one another and anchored to the floor of a 500-acre lagoon to conserve and improve the ecosystem's natural and cultural components. A new age in which Maldivians return to the water with durable, environmentally friendly floating projects has begun with the creation of Maldives Floating City. The organization of the city's roads and water canals are inspired by nature and is like the elegant and effective way genuine brain coral is structured. The rationale behind using brain coral as the main concept is that it emphasizes the Maldives' duty to uphold as the world's center for coral protection by emphasizing the importance of learning how to improve and maintain natural coral. Living on the ocean is consistent with Maldivian culture and history because of their close ties to the sea. The native culture of this country of seafarers is the inspiration for Maldives floating city. The city is known as a boating town since it relies heavily on its canal system for logistics and access points, limiting land-based travel to walking and bicycling on its unpaved, white sand roadways. Only bicycles and electric noise-free buggies and scooters are permitted, no vehicles. The Maldives' floating city is a flexible and dynamic city, with a smart grid that can adapt to dynamic demand, weather, and climate change. It is only 10 minutes by boat from the capital, Marley, and the international airport. It applies ecological best practices and cutting-edge sustainable development technology to safeguard, preserve, and improve the pristine marine ecosystem. This idea is a first of its kind and will serve as a standard for all upcoming advances worldwide. The floating city is a peculiar city that projects blue habitats into the sea and submerges beneath it, promoting coral growth. The city's underbelly will be covered with artificial coral banks, encouraging coral to grow naturally. 
In conjunction with the connected grid of floating structures, the lagoon's submerged and protected coral reefs will act as a natural wave reduction breaker to give occupants comfort and security. A nearby shipyard builds the modular units hauled to the floating metropolis. Once in place, they are fastened to a sizable underwater concrete hull screwed to the ocean floor and supported by telescoping steel stilts that allow them to sway gently in response to the waves. The city's coral reefs act as a natural wave breaker, stabilizing it and shielding residents from motion sickness. Dutch Docklands and the island's government have a private-public partnership to create the Maldives' floating city. Cohen Ulthwis, an architect, and Paul Vanderkamp, a developer, are the project's founders. Dutch Docklands is based on floating technology developed in the Netherlands, a country with a long history of creating flood-resistant buildings. Hence, the outcome of the floating city seems very promising. With a blend of green technology, safety, commercial viability, and a healthy new lifestyle, developer Dutch Docklands and architects from Water Studio envisages a next-generation sea-level rise-proof urban development that will bring safety and development space to the Maldives and serve as the framework for future floating cities. The Maldivians will change their destiny from being climate refugees to being climate innovators if they accomplish this. At the 2022 MIPM Awards, also known as the Asian Oscars for International Development, the design by architectural firm Water Studio was a finalist for the Best Futura Project Award. The supply and waste management, excess energy in the smart grid, and the shadows that its large structure would cast on the seabed that might affect marine life were just a few of the many factors that influenced the design and urban planning. Another important factor was the projection of sea rise levels over a 100-year period. Malé, which is the capital of the Maldives, as previously mentioned, is one of the world's most densely inhabited cities, with more than 200,000 people crammed into an area of just 8 square kilometers. It provides space that is difficult to find in the capital. According to Ulthwis, prices are starting at $150,000 for a studio and $250,000 for a family home, which is competitive with those in the nearby man-made island known as the Hulhumale. The first residents should be able to relocate onto the island in 2024, and sales of properties will soon start. Each apartment will be 100 square meters in size and include a rooftop patio and jetty of its own. According to Water Studio, the project also provides a world-class ownership structure that is transparent, value-driven, and legally binding, enabling foreign buyers to reside here permanently. The project is expected to be finished in its entirety by 2027 having started as research in 2009. Similar projects are being tested in the Netherlands and South Korea, but it is thought to be the first floating metropolis to be constructed as an island. From Peru to Vietnam, smaller floating settlements can be seen all over the world. The coral reefs that draw tourists to the Maldives also serve as the inspiration for much of the country's development. Part of the hexagon-shaped floating segment's design was inspired by the distinctive coral reefs in the area. These are joined to a ring of barrier islands that function as underwater breakers to diminish the force of lagoon waves and stabilize structures on the surface. According to Mohamed Nasheed, the Maldives' floating city does not require any land reclamation, therefore has a minimal impact on the coral reefs. Hence, upon the development of coral reefs, the development's construction of the floating city begins in 2022, and it will be finished in stages over the next five years, including the eventual construction of a hospital and school. The Oceanic's proposal for a floating city made up of interconnected platforms is similar to the idea behind the Maldives' floating city. The UN-backed project, which will house some 12,000 people, has selected the port city of Busan in South Korea as its host. The Maldives' floating city is going to be a very good development for people across the world, and it would serve as a major source of tourism. It will be a lucrative venture for the Maldives when it is completed. We all greatly anticipate the first of its kind in 2027. Thanks for watching our video. If you want more content on amazing projects all around the world, make sure you like, subscribe, and click the notification bell so you never miss any of our content. Lastly, don't forget to leave us your thoughts in the comments section down below. Until next time, take care.